My name is Matt Gillen, I'm the head chef here at the Pass Restaurant at South Lodge Hotel. Some of our success here um, with the Pass, I uh, think, has just been taking the unique environment we have and trying to marry everything up with the unique environment. So that's taking the food and doing something very different in terms of what else has been offered within Sussex. Um, but also with the service, we wanted a much more relaxed and fun and friendly dining experience. So it's a case of offering a dining experience rather than just lunch or dinner. Consistency for us is um, the most important. Um, we, we set a rule very early on, um, five years ago when we started the past, that if we do it for one, we do it for all. So consistency is very much at the forefront of what we do. The great thing with using Nespresso in my cooking is that it's so consistent and you know just the fact that every box, every pouch that turns up is exactly the same, it's all ground exactly the same. If I were to give my guys coffee beans, some might grind up a little bit too much or not enough and therefore the flavour release within the dish is, is not the same, therefore not consistent. From a money cost control point of view, it, it's very consistent. It, it, the product doesn't change, it's exactly the same size, same weight, so we know how much it costs us every time we make a coffee and we can track it all the way through. So the dish I'm going to do today is Guzenar duck breast and leg with baby and globe artichoke, sweet corn and coffee. So we're going to start with the duck. Uh, we've removed the breast and legs from the carcass. With the breast, we're going to cook it classically in, in the pan and get a nice crisp skin on the duck. We're going to cook that for six minutes, 180 degrees. Once the timer's gone off, we'll pull it out of the oven, flip it back over to the flesh side and we'll add the coffee syrup to that. So for coffee syrup, we're using the Nespresso's Espresso Leggero, malt extract and honey. Bring it up to the boil and then reduce it down by one third to give a nice glaze for when we add it to the duck. Uh, we'll take the bone out of the leg, we'll put the legs together and then in, seal it in the vacuum bag and steam that for about 40 minutes until it's nice and soft. We'll then take a nice thin slice of the duck leg and then pan fry it. We'll deglaze that with a little bit of the oyster glaze, which is 100 grams of oyster sauce and 50 grams of Nespresso Forte. So to sit alongside the breast and leg, we have baby artichokes, which we've just uh, trimmed up and then steamed again. With the globe artichokes, we made a uh, globe artichoke puree, again by steaming the artichokes, keeping all that moisture in the bag and then blend everything down. So sweet corn, we've taken whole corn on the cob, um, put it into the smoker for one hour. We're just going to take the kernels off, uh, pan fry those with tops of griot onions. The hazelnuts, we're just going to use some of the coffee syrup, just mix them together or we'll toast them in the oven. Just for a bit of fun on the plate, um, we've added like a dehydrated latte. So it's a Nespresso Forte, milk powder and miso, just all mixed together. So just to finish the dish with like Madeira sauce, which we've infused with uh, Nespresso's Espresso Forte, just for five minutes and just gives it a last minute kick of coffee. 